All right, so we're down in the hole here. We can take a little closer look at what we're doing. You can see we have the different layers here. So we have the waterproofing membrane here. It's an enhanced liquid or asphalt liquid applied, spray applied membrane on top of the ICF blocks. We did go through and check with the uh, people at Tough and Dry to make sure, and it is okay. They have tested it on ICF blocks. So it's directly applied to the EPS there, and it's fully coated down the wall and across the top of the footing. Now, as we go down the wall, you can see we have our three quarter inch protection board here. It's pretty much a oriented fiberglass. So water can actually migrate down through this protection board due to gravity. So anything that tries to challenge the foundation waterproofing is gonna find this um, protection board and go down and fall to gravity. Now, what happens when it falls down? Notice that the protection board goes down. If I peel back the landscape fabric, you'll notice that we have our gravel bed there. And then in the gravel bed, we have a pipe that now goes out to a French drain so that it can perk somewhere away from the house and get rid of any of the water challenging it. So let's cover that back up. But you know, the important thing about water management is, is we go through all of this, but we want to allow as little water as possible to challenge this system, right? So we want to mitigate it with the roof overhangs, roof gutters, get rid of the water before it gets into the ground and provides the challenge. So this system here is made to basically pick up the slack, if you will, for whatever the other systems can't hold. It isn't the only system in the project. So anyways, let's jump back to the studio. We'll break out this detail and we'll talk a little bit more about the tough and dry system.